last chance. I'm not gonna do any more videos for a few days, maybe a week. See this line? This is about the chasm at the fringe. It's those big decisions. A second here. You got some people coming on. Listen to this. Breathe my will, desire, take back and acquire a soul to set me free. Lay it on the ground as she whispered softly and sang that song to me. This is what it's about. You can't do it by yourself, guys. Hi, Suzanne. This is the last video I'm going to do for a little bit because we're going to be packing. There's people coming in. Two groups coming in this week. We should have 10 or 11 people running around. That's a lot for me. I'm not used to that many people. Um, we got to break our schedule and I don't get to visit with the chickens as long in the morning or idly visit with y'all I'm gonna be offline so I wanted to go ahead and talk with everybody a little bit I've given you all the information you need if you take the time you know the average person watches my videos nine minutes tops nine minutes out of 60 70 minutes you know what that means don't you yeah it's not worth my time if you look at the total number of videos I've done, you look at the total number of people that have viewed them, statistically speaking, how many hours they've actually viewed of what I've actually put out, how much time I've invested into putting it out, and then transferring it over, downloading it, posting it on platforms, doing all the titles, doing all the explanations, doing all the, the necessary things you have to do just to get it out there so people could see it if they wanted to, could share it if they wanted to, could make this something that could change the planet. One little town at a time. One little village at a time. No, that's what could happen. In a fantasy land, in the book of Wibbley and Wub. The whole story is about Darby. 
young boy who goes out and tries to change the world in his own little way. What stops him? If you had all the answers that you could provide somebody with a home, you could give them a career, you could give them a way to feed their family, and do it out of trash right there at their fingertips, just like some were told. The treasure is at your fingertips if you just open your eyes. Look out in front of you. Nah, that's hard. I gotta walk out there. I gotta get my hands dirty. Oh my God. I can't do it on my couch. Oh my God. You can't give me a pill. Fix it off on me. Oh my God. I prayed all week long. God didn't bring it to me. Well, maybe he did. Maybe you weren't willing to do what you're supposed to do. Maybe you weren't willing to get up off your dead butt and stop watching and start doing. I bet I hurt a bunch of people's feelings just now, didn't I? Guess what? They needed to be hurt. Probably. If you didn't take a moment or two to go ahead and look at the primer I put on ahead of time to show people little drawings I did. A whole bunch of things I didn't do in the last week. In case you guys don't pay attention to some of the stuff I do when I work. Create canyons and lakes and ponds and valleys and ships of salvage and bridges over untroubled water that didn't exist eight years ago. Billions of gallons. Life, fish, frogs, birds. Why? Why does a crazy person do all that stuff? Everybody says, you can't do that. Now get out of my face, please. I, I prefer to be alone. I don't need to hear that shit. I can. I will. I shall. I came here to do this. It's my job. Nah. I can't find the people that are supposed to think that way, it seems. A few. They got their calling. They're not running away. They're running for it. But it takes a leap of faith past that chasm at the fringe. The fringe is where you have to go to be able to get out from the sheeple. You got a couple choices. You can either go through the lock gate over the edge of the cliff and fall, or you can leap with faith to the other side. What's the other side? Tomorrowland. The future. The one we create. We, W-I-I, -I, all of us eyes, that are going to make it to the other side. But guess what? You can't make that leap of faith with all that garbage of your past, all that trash, all the guilt that you put upon yourself or others put upon you. The lack of faith that they have, you cannot have or you will never make it across the chasm at the fringe. Now I have a poem online on YouTube. I've had it for years. I put it up there in 2012. It's for those moments when you're at that chasm at the fringe and you look, look down and you go, holy crap, if I don't make it, I could die. Look, you can read this one backwards. One of my little cartoons, part of the book of the Wibbery and Wub. Wibbery and Wub. Remember I said you guys going to be a part of it? You didn't think I was joking around. You thought it was fantasy. It is fantasy. It's called a quantum story. It's created out of what we believe, what we imagine, and what we physically do and take action to manifest. And it creates a story. It's a quantum story because it affects the reality around us, just like a quantum computer can change things with the Mandela effect. So where did the monocle go? On the Monopoly game banker. Remember that monocle? You got to be running. You got that hand up. You're holding it. You're running there. It's not there. Where'd it go? Mm-hmm. Well, phenomena. Believe in phenomena? Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe stuff just happens? Guess what? Sometimes there's a reason, if you have good perspicuity. Acuity of perception. Acuity of that perspective that allows you to see what's right before your very eyes. With the mind, not just the eyes. Am I getting across to a couple people? Those few that are watching? Hi. This is that chasm of time. Now time is the difference between yesterday 
today. And what you're going to do. Now over here there's this little passageway and a few people are going to get through there. When it's open, when it's unlocked. But guess that dragon. See that dragon? Demon dragon is dragging on. Drag on. You're dragging your ass on. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk about doing it. And talk about doing it. And all the power of doing it is lost in the talking about it. I get more done sitting on the excavator than I get done talking about how I'm going to sit on the excavator, don't I? So I've been talking. Way too much talking. Most people get on here and say, hey, he talks too damn much. I'm leaving. You know what? No persistence. No tenacity. No willpower. No desire to learn. No didactic need for new knowledge. It doesn't come from a seven minute long prime for you to get you to come buy something, come get something, come pay for something, click on the button of the moment and pay for information, pay for seminar, pay for whatever I was supposed to be able to give you on the internet for free, supposedly. Those of you who are watching, those of you who believe, have faith. Those of you coming here next week from Florida, from Arkansas, and getting your first as much as you can carry loads with the instructions and everything I can possibly give you to not fail and to do it right. And then if you do, you'll have more. The rest of you, the trolls, all the ones who want to make fun because I want to give away something. And I want to make sure I give it to the right people. And so I intentionally have blown off so many people, got pissed off at me for saying what I'm saying because I'm saying what I'm saying. As a fantasy creature on a fantasy news channel, on a fantasy world where it gives away millions of dollars of stuff to people who believe in making their fantasy come true. In creating paradise on earth as much as we can possibly create without somebody getting in our way burning it, destroying it because they're just envious. You got food they wanted, they didn't prepare, so they just come kill you, take your food. That's not the kind of people I want to live around. I think a lot of people don't want to live around it too, but what do I do to get them to act? You know what? I'm about out of straws. You'd think I'd have 40 people, 40 groups lined up wanting to get something. For veterans? Nah. Yeah, not one group. Not one veteran has come to this table saying, here's the veterans village. I served. Ah! Listen, folks. I oh, ask you old folks. Yeah, you old folks. In your 60s, like me. 70s. Gonna wait till you retire and do something good. Well, you damn sure aren't doing it. Most of you. Shameful. So, anyway. Got some notes. It's the last video for at least a week. We'll see how this plays. You got to clear through Trinity. You don't just come here and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm getting some. No. You don't have a plan. You don't have a team. You don't have some way to put it there, set it there, make it right. Family. Somebody can build. Don't just tell me, yeah, I got all these things I've never done before. I got all these projects in progress. I'll never finish and nobody wants to come help me and I got no friends. I got no buddies. Well, why ain't you got no friends or buddies? You're 55 years old. Have you learned your lesson? Have you found an eye that doesn't just point inward at yourself? We, me, me is these two eyes and that other eye that points up. That's the other eye for me and my eye. And wibble me up. Little stupid book to some people. 
about a little teeny tiny language of a few words that have shared around the world, just all around the world, just everybody just talking and using it in a very, as it's supposed to be. Smile, happy, positive. We, a union of beings, can change the world if we work together and we can prove it. Little one little village at a time and I'm going to give away millions. You think that'd be all around the world in a heartbeat. Especially with our brand new liberal save the world government. You think they go, hey, look at that dude. But I can't say Trump did any better. He didn't come. Clinton's didn't come. I've been around a while. Obama? Pfft. I was told when I was a little boy, broken back and all, my daddy. Well, he did beat me. He also said, son, you can do anything you want. But you can't say I can't. It's only I can. Except be president. You're born in Germany, son. Yeah. I know, I'm an American soldier. Yeah, your mama's American. But you weren't born on American soil. You can never be president. Well, I could never be a millionaire. I could never be a lot of things. I was told all that all my childhood as a cripple. Guess what? I did it. Now what? Watch a bunch of pansies give me a bunch of excuses why they can't go out and do shit. I ain't taking it too good sometimes. That dragon you see in that picture. That's yourself, guys. Drag on. You just speak and tell me all that good shit you used to do called laurels. You eat a laurel. You spend a laurel. You got any laurels of your past? You gonna live on those? You gonna talk to me about how good you used to be? I used to be uh, tough stuff, football player, my ass. Used to be counts nothing at all when you're carrying around a dang keg on in front of you and you're crippled. You can't run, walk, talk. You got a cigarette in your mouth. And somebody's going to pay for you to be sick. Who wants you in their village? You're going to come in there and what? Flop around because you can't walk? Don't get your meds? You can't talk? Do you realize how many of you old folks my age made yourself about the biggest pain in the ass, worthless thing you could possibly have on the planet if you were in trouble and had to feed people and take care of them and you could do nothing but sit there and look at them and ask for help because you ain't got no darn guts? Yeah, well, I'm pissing some people off. Guess what, guys? I don't give a shit. You're following me or not following me is not going to make the planet any better at this point. I love y'all. And my daddy loved me. My daddy also told me once in a while, you go over there and you pick that belt out of the closet and you drop your drawers, you bend over, you grab your ankles and you just don't cry. This is yours. And I'm saying that now. Excuse me. So, please. I want some of you to get up. Can I help you, baby? Thank you. I want you to get off your dead butts. Quit making excuses. The best examples are the ones that get up and do something. Trinity. She's not sick anymore. She's doing things. She's supposed to be not doing things. She's doing them anyway. There are other stories, success stories like this. Shannon Demand, 14 years on insulin. Told his doctors that's it. He's off insulin. He's riding bike. He's in good condition. He's got a dream. He's got land. He's got... A chance because he changed his perspective and then he changed his actions he didn't just talk about it he went and did it and years later he came back and told me after I saw you yeah in many cases I'm a hard pill to swallow I'm a sharp edge why I intend to provoke you into thinking about this because I may never see you in your entire lifetime. We may never shake hands. Chances are that's the case. 
my story will be told, I'll be gone before you ever see this video or read the book. You won't know who he was because he wasn't. He's just a figment, an image, a character. But if he provoked you into thinking, into feeling, into acting, then I did my job. For now, I got work to do. I've been nice. I've been coddling. I've let you know I love you. I've told you how to learn to love yourself. How many people listened to that? Most didn't. I looked at the stats. Seven to nine minutes. Most of you are gone already. A few stayed. A few learned. A few will benefit in ways nobody can imagine. It's fantasy. It couldn't happen. It's a miracle. And then we'll see what comes of it. I said I'd give away millions if there were people to give it to. We're deserving of that. Instead of greedy people who just say, oh, give me, give me, give me. What are you going to do with it? Oh, just give me, give me more. I'll be there to pick up it tomorrow. Well, you didn't tell me what you're going to do with it yet. You didn't tell me where you're going. Well, gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, I know this world. I grew up in this world. I, I ate out of dumpsters watching that world from the inside of the dumpster. I know those kind of people. I've had the best of friends. We lie and cheat. Steal. Oh, I got an ex-wife. Millions of dollars. It will cost me a child. Now, please, you pay attention. You got plenty to watch. Hours and hours nobody's watched. One day they will. And they go, what's that fantasy? And for the most part, it is. But for a few, it was a life changer. Saved the mama. Gave the babies a path to take. Toxin free. Import free. With ingenuity. Productivity. Quality. Pride. Based on deserved pride. Not what you give a little kid. Because he peed in the right place. You guys that rode this little ride, I'm going to tell you something. It took me a lifetime to learn what I learned. I'm a lucky boy. I'm alive. I'm telling you about it. And what are you going to do with it? Some of you just trash me for it. And trust me, I'm not talking from high ground. I crawled through that swamp. Yeah, I did all those things. Stole, lied, cheated, did everything. Everything wrong you could do to get here, to learn these lessons. For what good is it? Well, we'll see. I'll get my book written, maybe. This character will get out there. If the story gets written the way it's supposed to, you guys are part of it. Otherwise, it's just another pile of pieces of paper. Words. Empty words. Wake up. Watch those videos. We'll see you in a week or two.